picture there. That's the racetrack as well. There's training grounds, gymnasiums. And that's where we are, where we're now zooming into now. And it's beautiful surroundings because it's a lovely wooded area. I walked back from the stadium and it's a lovely walk, lovely area we're in. So after the first two matches, it's two love, two Korea against Denmark in this quarter final time. Next up is the second ranked women's singles and it's Kim ga Un, the bronze medalist at the 2016 Asia Junior Championships up against Lena Christofferson, silver medalist at the World Junior Championships. Kim ga Un. Well, she's had a 100% record so far in this year's Uber Cup campaign. In fact, it's her first Uber Cup campaign. She's played three matches so far, one all three. Lena Christofferson. Well, she, like her opponents, is making her debut in a Uber Cup campaign. Not had the success of her opponent within the group stage. She lost a couple of matches to Malaysia and to China. But this is a first meeting between these two players. Red, black for you. So the toss of the coin. Black. Um, this court. You yeah. yourself. So. Kim Ga Un has chosen ends. And this obviously is a must win situation for Christofferson. Denmark love two down in the tie. And remember, once the tie is decided in the best of five matches, obviously, once a team has won three matches any remaining matches are not contested 23 years of age as you can see born in Ulsan and she was a bronze medalist at the world junior championships in Bilbao in 2016 both in the women's singles and women's doubles so a versatile player and as far as she is concerned well five foot eight roughly and all of her matches so far in this campaign, one and one in two straight games and all under 30 minutes in duration. To say that she's been in good form, I think is an understatement. Yesterday, she played against the, a player from Chinese Taipei, Feng Yi Ting. And as you can see, that was the longest match at 26 minutes. So to her opponents, Lena Christofferson is 21 years of age from Vienna Lund in West Zealand. Lives so in Gentofta. She's a tall athlete, 176, that's about five foot nine and a half. 23 on the world ranking, I can tell you, and it's her second consecutive week at her career high of 23. Silver medalist at the European Championships earlier this year lost out to the former Olympic champion Carolina Marin in that final. So as far as she's been concerned, well, on Saturday she played against the Malaysian player Am Chi Xian and lost that in three games. Then on Sunday she beat the Canadian Rachel Chan and then on Tuesday she lost to the Olympic semi-finalist Herbing Jiao. Three games though. Goodness me, she must have played well in that. Unfortunately, I didn't see that match. But she must have played extremely well. So Iris Metzpalu of Estonia is uh, on par for this one. And our service judge Kevin Byrne from America. So all the pressure on Christofferson, a must-win situation. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm 
our right, Korea, represented by Kim Gun. And on my left, Denmark, represented by Lina Christofferson. Well, immense home Denmark support. Love all. Play. Crucial match. Denmark has to win this encounter to keep the quarterfinal tie alive. It's a tall order. But there are only six places difference on the world ranking between these two players. Kim Gaon being the higher of the two. Oh, that's a super shot. strapping on this lady's knee and I was talking about it yesterday I was a little concerned about her movement when she was playing against Hong Yuting or Chinese Taipei and a couple of times when she lunged forward on that right knee I thought she was having to take a little step to recover normally a badminton player lunges on their Racket arm leg and can push straight back. I thought she had to bring her left leg up and that was taking time. Now we'll keep a close eye on that. Finds the line. Well, this has been a brilliant start by Kim Gartwood. Super punch clear from Christopherson. Got her opponent way out of position. Kenneth Jonasson, head coach for the Danish team.
Uh, you could tell about three shots ago that Nina Christofferson was off balance, out of position. Look, she's taking a step backwards before she can move back to the base position. Didn't know which way to move. And that's gone long. And in double quick time, Kim ga -un has a very healthy eight-point advantage at the mid-game interval here in the open game. So the words of wisdom from Jesper Heldorf. Commanding the rallies at the moment, Kim Gahan. Look how off balance the Dane is. Another time where she's pushed fast into her deep backhand corner, can't recover. apologising, perhaps because she got a bit of a neck cord, but this is just a moment of magic. That's gone wide. is trying different things, trying to find if anything is working and quite frankly at the moment Kim ga has got an answer for everything. That time the drive serve, that didn't work. singles. Game interval about 
fast clears deep in court, then you go for the angles. Because that seems to be the tactic she's been pulling ever since. Yeah, there's the punch clear. shot. How did she lift that? Right to the back. Ah, it's good judgment. It is just long. looking shot. She hadn't built a rally. Got to work a rally first before you start going for winners in singles. Doubles is totally different. You've got to try and force weak replies by going all out attack. Shot did the damage. shot from Kim Darwin came forwards on the forehand net look how she turns the racket just at the last second just lifts the racket head to guide it across court great skill so game point opportunities Kim Ga-ung. 
21-11 opening game. 14 minutes. Well, Kim Ji Hyun, I think, said more in that coaching break there. And she has the entirety of the competition. She knows the importance of this match. It is the game point opportunity in the opening game. Yep, she's got time to look down towards the line, look back up at the shuffle. She's got a special awareness and leaves it to drop them. So Korea just potentially one game away from breaking the hearts of the host nation, Denmark. No more second chances once we're here in the knockout stage. Lose a tie and we're out. Christopherson to feed off on her defensive play. You have to impart your own bit of acceleration on the defensive shot. much in detail before and she is only 21 years of age so physically she's still got some development uh, to work on muscle strength but it seems to me at the moment she's lacking in her defensive play she hasn't got that real power to push off and change direction
it's it's a little bit the same as the first women's singles. If you watch the movement of the two players during the rally, it's very contrasting in their styles. The Dane seems very busy with her footwork, whereas the Korean, very calm and sort of measured, almost sort of gliding around the court. Much more economic movement by the Korean. That's wide. Christofferson has done awfully well at level. Who's the four point deficit? Yeah. Not the physical strength yet. Christofferson to get out of trouble when she's caught off balance at the back of the court. Yeah. I think the nerves are jangling. Even the coach, Kim Ji Hyun, looks a little bit more stressed in her coaching chair. Brilliant. Great precision. Look how she lunges forward. Good balance, good poise as she played the shot. And if you're in good balance, then of course you've got more control of your racket arm. points oh, for eight all for this lady Kim Gaurung. three point advantage after 
Yeah, I'm telling you, the Korean coach, Kim Ji Hyun, is a little stressed at the moment. Yeah, sitting forward on her chair, anxiously looking. that the Dane lost earlier in this Uber Cup campaign. She won the opening game and then lost in three games. Good intensity, the rally, good pace. so well to get herself out of trouble there. She had to withstand an awful lot of pressure and as soon as she got the opportunity to hit a downward shot, she produced such an acute angle. awareness there, Christopherson. Well, in badminton terms, that wasn't even close. No doubt she's a huge talent. example of Christofferson not having the power in the legs to change direction. She was in her base position in the centre of the court, the punch clear came in and she couldn't change direction and go to the back of the court quickly enough. not getting down low enough. And I think in a couple of years, Christopherson, who she works on her physicality, would be a real threat in world terms. Not quite there yet. Yeah. Just inside the back line. trying to get behind the young day. Well, what senses it's got to be now or never. Got to start closing this gap. 
and they're loving it. Oh, that's pushed wide. Couple more points and the Korean could start to get a little bit nervous again. No, oh, that's well anticipated though from Kim. incredible fighting spirit from Lena Christopherson. Just two points in it. place in an 18th semi-final here at the Uber Cup in only their 19th time competing in this competition. Oh, but it's far from over yet. deep into the Danish forehand corner and then she was waiting for the straight drop shot. So it's match point opportunities, three of them, to secure Korea's place in the semi-final once more. She's done it. 
first time of asking 21-17 the second game having won the first 21-11 just about 35 minutes in total and a pat on the shoulder from Kim Ji Hyun to her player yeah Kim Ga Un going through and that's nice that Jesper Hilgor speaking to Lena Christofferson who really did give her all but there is confirmation of the scoreline 21-11 21-17 in just under 35 minutes and three love the tie it means that we won't contest the final two matches which had been planned the second women's doubles and the third women's singles and because the tie has already been won by Korea. There's the match point opportunity. First of them. And look how she moved the Dane from deep forehand, backhand net, backhand deep, forehand net twice making her move the full diagonal this is what we call out maneuvering opponents make them move from corner to corner and the victory for Korea and for Kim Ga Un yeah looks relieved as much as happy doesn't she that Korea safely through to the semi-final and this is how they did it An Si Young the world number eight beats the European Games gold medalist Mia Blickfeld in three thrilling games had to come from a game down before winning the second and third rather comfortably then it was women's doubles and Lee So Hee and Shin Siang Chang number four on the world ranking at the moment beat Frogo and Tuerson reversing the result of the group match in the Olympic Games that was two straight games then it was the second women's singles as we've just seen and in 35 minutes Kim Ga Ung the bronze medalist at the Asian Junior Championships beat the silver medalist from the World Junior Championships, Lena Christofferson. A hard fought second game and the Dane gave it her all, but in the end, the Korean just too good. So three love, and that means that they will play against the defending champions in the semi-final of course the the draw overall there was only two teams that have never contested a uber cup final and that was india who have been beaten by japan three love in their quarter final the other team that's never been in the uh, final is chinese taipei but korea japan both former champions play off in the semi-final another quarter final uh, this evening and it's china against chinese taipei steam will see you through that but in the meantime from me jill clark bye for now